So here we are again, folks. We are looking at the Bill Cosby release because of foul play is what we're seeing. Is basically it was overturned and uh, Bill Cosby is free. So um, they're attacking Felicia Rashad. And this is... This is typical of, of, of feminists and the left and me too. This is typical, right? They go by feeling and not the facts. They want to they wanna demonize people, but they don't want the, the justice system to prevail, which is kind of weird seeing the fact that they want justice, right? So we're going to come, come to you with what we think is going on, how we feel about it, and what we want to see going forward. Um, my wife just read what happened what's going on with Felicia Rashad, which obviously she's under attack because she she defends her friend and, you know, former partner for, what, eight years now? She defends him. And why wouldn't she? She knows the man very, very well. She worked side by side with this man for a very, very long time. She's not the only person that defends him. And look, let me let me just say this real quick. As a person who has been sexually assaulted multiple times in my life, I can say this is how it should be, right? They didn't follow the rules. Not, this is not saying that he's not guilty. That's not what I'm saying. Mm-hmm. What I'm saying is, They didn't follow the rules. They broke the rules. And that's what the Philadelphia, is it Philadelphia? Yeah. The Philadelphia Supreme Court is saying. All they're saying is, okay, this wasn't a fair trial. That's what they're saying. What do you think? Hey, you guys. So I actually, I have a mix of emotions. Yeah, I, I, you have to understand that um, with Miss Rashad's statement, right? I, it's how you read it. You you have to look at certain things. You got to look at it a certain way. She in no way retracted her original statement and support. Mm. In no way did she retract it. She still supports Bill Cosby. She still supports him. And um, and, and, in no way negates that. She doesn't take it away. What she did in her second tweet was be a little bit more sensitive. Right. Towards the plight of true victims of sexual assault. She acknowledged them. She acknowledged what what atrocity has been done to, to people that have been assaulted. But she in no way retracted her statement. She didn't say, well, I don't support him anymore. What she said was, while I support him, I do acknowledge also those that have been victimized. And I think it's really important for us to pay attention to how things, how words are stated. Um, Like you said, she knew him way back when. We're talking about um, instances that allegedly that happened, you know, years ago, 40 plus years ago. I mean, years ago. Right. Um, 30 plus years ago. 30 plus yeah. years ago. So the truth of the matter is we were not there. And do I believe something happened? Yeah, I do. We're talking about, you know, in in a time where it was snort coking parties, people uh, no, snort cooking parties. Co- uh, coke snorting parties is what I was right. to say. Right, coke snorting parties, right. <laughs> That's what you know, to say. people don't realize, and this is the thing that I, 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 I got people, and this is another thing, and I'm going to piss a lot of black people off by saying this. It was the norm back then mm-hmm. to do that, right? We didn't know, well, I wouldn't say we, they didn't know the effects of drugs back then. They didn't know the effects. We now know the effects after a bunch of research. Certain things that used to fly back then don't fly now. 
right? That's why I don't agree, and I know a lot of, you know what, I'm going to stay away from that because the small hats, you all know what I'm talking about. The small hats don't play that game, so I'm going to hold off from that. That's like, that's a no-no zone. But even the small hats have to identify with the fact that the time with the time back then, that's not where we live today, okay? We don't live that way t today. So you have to understand, back then, that's what they did. That was the free, they were, they were full with... Um, uh, what is it? Um, what, what What is it when you're in rebellion? They were filled with rebellion back then. That was the rebellion culture, the free culture, the sex culture, the, 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 the drug culture. We're just going to live life to the fullest and hug trees and stop wars. That was the time back then. Yeah. So, yes, back then it was different. The rules have changed since then, right? So going back in history putting a person, this is why I don't agree with reparations. I don't agree with them. I understand where a lot of black people are coming from with it. I get it. But how can I charge somebody that is 19 with the crimes of somebody that happened in the 40s, the 30s, and the 20s? Mm. I can't do that, right? So am I saying that Bill Cosby is innocent? I already made that remark. The answer is no, I am not saying that. I'm pretty sure he did do some crazy stuff, mm -hmm. yep. you know? But here's the thing. Who back then knew that the internet was gonna start and this was gonna all happen? Who back then knew that information will run so quickly the way it does today, all right? I know a lot of people are saying, and I was watching one of the uh, panels on Dr. Boyce Watkins, and he had a, a young lady up there, I forget her name, um, I'm gonna probably put the link in the description to that video. But I, she she said something that was very powerful. She said, "I cannot char I cannot inflict the same pain that you caused me on you. Right. It's impossible. I can't do that." And she's absolutely positively right. No matter how hard I try, I can't inflict that pain onto you. Mm -hmm. All right, I can't do that. The problem here that I see when it comes down to trying to get justice, you're trying to get justice, ju justice through a man that you don't even know. Who really knows Bill Cosby other than Camille? Who really knows Bill Cosby other than God himself? Who really knows this man? We don't know the demons he's dealing with. And like I said previously, he didn't know this stuff was gonna to happen today. Back then, the norm was the norm. Right now, the norm is free sex. Yeah, the re it's a different kind of rebellion now. Yes, it's a different type of rebellion right yeah, now. Right different. now, it's free sex. What is free sex? I don't have to commit to you. You don't have to commit to me. And we might meet in the we might we might meet in the middle, but what I want to do with my life and body is what I want to do with my life and body, and you have no say over it. I don't care if you do think that I should be under the law or under the vows of marriage all right i can take those i can take those vows and change my mind tomorrow and this is what we were talking about the moral compass is way off i mean it's off off i mean you think that it was off back then but at least you know back then i mean it was just a different world um it, it was just totally it was just totally a, a different world you have the boomers and 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 that generation where you know they valued life they valued family they value they valued there there was just a different esteem for the nuclear family there was just an, a different esteem for you know just the, the the way to do things it was just different there was an acknowledgement of of, mo of what was most important but now it's just free for all so i think that when it comes to um mr cosby like i said we don't know uh, we were not there, but I think there's a bigger picture here. Um, even, and I know that, you know, for many uh, uh, of our culture, it'll be like, you know, one one for the culture, you know, one for, you know, is, is like they were, I believe they were systemic and I do believe that they were making um, the powers that be is the they that I'm talking about, was making a, a, an example of him. And at 83, um, it was like, like you said, many people jumped on the bandwagon. Like, oh yeah, the whole me too. Oh yeah, it happened to me too. You know, where's the proof? 
and and some of it i gotta say yeah a lot of it was it was manufactured and they jumped on that trail and they jumped on the bandwagon because somebody's gonna pay for what happened to me right and what like you said what on the panel with uh voice walking that that the person was saying you can't inflict the same type of pain and want you to hurt the way that they hurt that's literally drinking poison mm. literally mm. it's literally you're gonna hurt the way that you made me hurt literally and 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 the truth is all you're doing is killing yourself slowly because that person can never feel what you feel they can never feel the violation that you felt i'm not taking away from anything that has ever happened to anyone that has been violated listen you guys i'm sitting here talking to my husband who was violated as a child and there's people that we have to see and have had to interact with that i know and it has taken literally the power of God himself, I gotta say that, for me not to jump on these individuals because of wanting to repay them for what they did. But it, you know, the truth is that life has a way of repaying people mm. in a way that we never can. Yep. So when it comes, I mean, there's different levels to this and there's different facets to it, but I will say that you got to do it right. And, you know, there's been many times that the justice system has failed us all. Many times. Countless. I mean, you know, we can go down that whole rabbit hole. We, we could really go there because many have been slain that were never vindicated. And just, you know, recently vindicated in some way. But there's a, a long ways to go. And I think that this is where um, many are highlighting that okay at least there was some type of, of 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 recompense when it comes to this for mr cosby at least um you know that part was uncovered right did he do some time yes i know that there's many like oh he should rot there he should have died there you're drinking poison at what point in your life are you going to allow yourself to be free because you can't go behind the bars with him. You know, that's a good damn question. What yeah. point what point in life are you going to be free of that? Um, wow, that's hard. That's hard. You live a lifetime of bitterness. It's that not worth is it. hard because, you know, I, I. Wow. I push back in different ways, mm -hmm. right? For sure. I pushed back in different ways. And, and listen, I, I know I know a lot of people who have dealt with this, you know, and you're, you're probably viewing in and you have those dark rooted secrets yeah. that, that haunt you every night. Yeah. Where you're alone. And, and I don't mean alone physically. You could be right next to your husband, right next to your wife, and still feel alone. Yes. Because you can't relay what you feel to your spouse, to the person that you're talking to. Yeah. You can't relay it. Whether you're afraid of being judged, whether you're afraid they're going to say, ah, just get over it. You know what I mean? You, you, you don't want to hear those words because to you, they're negative. Right? Yeah. They, they, they hurt. Mm -hmm. Especially when you're dealing with that type of trauma yes. of not understanding what went down, right? I, I get it. And it's a process. Yeah. You know, I think that, listen, you guys, watching my husband this year go through the corridors of his darkness um, and allowing me in some of those spaces with him, it was hard. It was hard to watch him unravel. It was hard to watch him go into his own hell and be on the sidelines um, trying to help him through the best way that I could. And thankfully, he got through it and we got through it together, but it was not easy. So I, I cannot stress this enough to say this is not to negate anyone who has had or who has been violated. It's not to negate that. That's that's not what's what's going on here, and that's not what I'm saying. I have loved ones who who also uh, have been violated, and mm. it takes it, it in a lot of ways. It does take a lifetime. It does take a lifetime. Um, we all have our level, right? We all have um, 
our we, grace. We all have our grace, yes. We and and like grace. we were just hearing on Sunday, we're like, there's layers. And, and one layer may take five years. Uh, another layer may take 10. Another layer may take six months. There, it comes in layers. Yeah. And so the whole thing is, it's a process and we work through the process, but it's, it's, it's nothing like watching someone that you love and you, you care for so deeply be free of their own demon. Right. Be free of, of a bitterness that they've been drinking for so many years. And I think that that is where the key is because you have a lot of people um, not to make this a political thing, but I mean, we're talking about a man who was released from from prison, so it is kind of political. It's a court system, but it's the same. It's the same vehement hatred that people have, like you know, when 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 um, um, Biden was put into office, and and so many people hated Trump. I mean, to the point where no, and we've talked about it. Nobody had to pay them to do anything. They just the wanted hatred to do in their it. heart drove them and when you understand emotions yeah the way that i do look let me tell you something i hate words mm. i hate words the reason why i hate words is because words can mean different things for everyone yeah all right words are the worst way to communicate Wow, that's so weird coming from you to me because I happen to love words. I was an English major, so words are great. You love words, <laughs> yes, but the thing is, is that words suck as a communication system because I cannot, re I can't, I, me saying to you, you pissing me off, you understand on your own yeah, what that translates to you, yeah. right? And I have to find a way to translate what I'm feeling to you with such a easily distorted word right as piss you know because piss could mean what do you mean i'm pissing out you ain't I'm, I'm not urinating on you right you have to speak the other person's language i have to speak your language and i don't know your language when i'm using words i know my language when i'm using words so i don't like words they really do not translate the way i would like them to translate right. if i can literally tell you how i feel you know what I'm saying? If I say to you, I'm struggling in this situation, right? You might see that struggle like, oh, well, you want advice, right? Because struggle might mean I'm asking for advice. No, maybe I just want you to listen. Maybe I just yep. want you to understand where I'm coming from. But how the hell can you if you've never gone through it? Right. How can you? Mm -hmm. So for me, I understand what there are. I understand what people are going through when it comes down to seeing this and you saying you know what i want what's coming to me i want payback i want justice mm -hmm. but justice to you is not there is not the same to justice to me right this to me is not justice mm -hmm. this to me is i'm going to punish whoever i can mm -hmm. that's not justice that's not justice that's a form of anarchy, in my opinion, mm. because all I'm trying to do is hurt you back. Right. And I'm hurting you back for what? Because I'm still dealing because with the. I'm still, dealing, I'm still. I'm still hurting. Yeah. Look, this whole thing. It's very frustrating for me because I have to relive my pain to understand yours. It's frustrating because I have to come back and say, look, I side with the judicial system on this point. I don't side with them in everything, but right now I side with them. It's hard to get something like this overturned. Yeah. It's very hard. And if you look at the case, you'll realize Cosby paid his penance for what he did mm -hmm. with those women. Mm -hmm. He paid his penance. Mm -hmm. All right. And the reason why he was convicted was based on other testimonies that shouldn't have been there. Mm. That's why Pennsylvania said, you know what? This wasn't a right. Eye. This wasn't this wasn't right. This wasn't up a par. This was not smooth. Yeah. And what the woman said on Boyce Watkins was if this man, so many people took plea bargains. Wow. How many people that was innocent? Mm. And I'm going to put a clip up here. I'm going to try to put a clip for you. 
and hopefully he'll allow me to use that. Uh, I don't think he will have a problem with it. If he does, I, you know, whatever. I'm going to link to his stuff anyway. But if you're going to see, look at this case from a standpoint of, we take, take your emotion out of it and just look at it and look at the facts. This was not a fair trial. That's how it was handled, yep. It wasn't handled properly. And this man could have taken a plea bargain. Right. He said, I'm fighting with everything I got. Mm -hmm. He said, I refuse. I would rather die. I'd rather die. I'd rather go down fighting than to say I am a predator. Because he does. he's not. Is he human? Absolutely. He's a black man in America. He's human. And he was a celebrity. I don't know about you, but as a man, at that level in success, at that level of, 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 of fame, every woman in the world is gunning for you. It wasn't hard for him to find the women. Yeah, I mean, like sports, but like Mike, Magic Johnson, so many of them, they would wait for them in their hotel room. Bruh. Like, how did you get up here? Bruh. Past security. They climbing buildings to yeah. get to you. They climbing walls to get to you. Yeah. It's just what it is, man. And I don't. That's that's a level that even I don't know how I will handle when I get there. If I ever get there, I don't know how I'm gonna handle that. I don't. I don't. You don't know how you will handle it. You yes. never. You've never been presented with that art. That 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 offer. So how are you going to? How are you going to handle it if you got there? So it's easy to pass judgment judgment on this man because oh he's married and his character. Blah 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 blah. You don't know what him and Camille talked about. Right. We were not there. You don't. Mm -hmm. I, there's conversation that my wife and I have that you will never hear ever in a million billion years as open as i am because she's not that open but as open as i am no you'll way. never hear those things and my point is you you don't know what's going on in a they relationship that's up to her and him and what went on in their marriage at that time at that time years ago because back in, it was different back then yeah that's the thing with people we evolve and we change you know so like, listen, we're going to wrap it up because um, we want to bring this in too much. We're going to try to keep this under 20 minutes. Um, but, yeah, I, 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 needed, I wanted to say what I felt about this. My wife also wanted to say some things about it because I'm trying to be accommodating to those who may feel some type of way about this slighted, yeah. they might feel slighted they might feel like oh this is a hit to the me too movement which it is mm -hmm. but it's a hit in a good way a lot of people don't realize this because too many people are running off of emotion but this is a good thing this is a good thing having this happen tells us something about our justice system we're trying to get it right mm -hmm. we suck at it Yes, yes, it needs some more. It needs work. But we're trying to get it right. This is a victory for Me Too and MGTOW. I know a lot of people don't want to hear that. But this is a this is a win for both. Because for those women who out there who people just laugh off because of their history, how many women out there right now have been in a situation where you said no, but because of your history... Nobody believed you mm -hmm. because of your history, because of what you did in your profession, but because of, because you were a stripper or you was a call girl or you did certain things that most people deem unworthy of a young lady. And then something happened to you that you flat out said no to and nobody's listening to you. Right. This is a win for you. Hmm. This is a win for you because you have people who made it harder for you to come forward. Yep. You have women who was looking for a payday. Yes, and that's the problem here. And there's so many of women out there looking for a payday. I'm not saying that Bill Cosby's clean. Who's to say his moral compass is not my moral compass? Right. 
Nobody's saying he's clean. Nobody's saying R. Kelly's completely clean. But the truth <laughs> is, there were some people there ready for a check. They was ready for a they check. They were ready to be paid. And there's a lot of people out there that just wanted to touch Bill. Yeah. They were eager to it. So if I'm sitting here and if you and 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 let's face it, you can tell Bill's a charming guy. Mm-hmm. He's a charming guy. So is it any wonder that women flock to him? He's charming. He's been that way his entire life. I wouldn't be surprised if there was a lot more women that jumped on him because of it. They knew he was a married man. It was public. You still went to his hotel room, though, mm-hmm. after hours mm-hmm. to take drugs. What were you going up there for? What were you going up there for? The whole thing is, what were you going What did you think you was going up there for? Look, Hook and Service said something that was powerful. He said... Why did you put yourself in that position? And he was talking about Bill, but I'm talking about you too. Why did you put yourself in that position? It's always that, you know, we want a nightcap. No, it, what do you expect to happen? You don't know people. I remember this was years ago. <laughs> I'm, I'm grateful for my husband because he told me the story. I was just like, these people are crazy. And so this is the Polish girl. What Polish girl? He was girl? doing uh, Uber. This was years ago. Uh-huh. And if you guys haven't noticed, Gary is a charming uh, guy, talker. He's Polish girl. Gab and all that. And you were driving Uber, remember? And you, dro- you were dropping the woman off. And she asked you if you wouldn't mind coming upstairs. Oh, her. And she asked, she's like, oh, what, what, would you like to come upstairs? And I'm like, what kind of fool? would invite a complete stranger into their house. Beautiful young woman. Oh my God. And this is the kind of thing I'm saying, like you don't know, like this world is a crazy place and we don't know people. You could have been a maniac. Yeah, but to the point of the matter is that there are women who would get a yes. That's the point. They put themselves in that position. And I'm not talking about the ones that were violated and abused and, and assaulted and the, the horrific stories and the things that happen. I'm not talking about that. I'm talking about situations where they have allowed themselves to be in the wrong place at the wrong time and t- be taken advantage of. Mm. And then you end up on a witness stand. This is the type of a situation. So, you know, Again, I, I can't stress that enough that this is not against anyone who has been violated. Um, my, my heart actually goes out to you. And um, I do agree with the part of what Ms. Rashad said also is that my, my hope is for healing in that area because it's like, you know, life is too short to walk around with, with poison. You know, life is too short for that. But it, when, when, it, when it comes to that particular situation, it's like some, some, some people welcome certain things and are surprised when they bit off way more than they can chew. And they get it. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay, so I'm actually very happy that this is happening. Mm -hmm. I didn't I didn't agree with the verdict when it happened. I did a video uh when it happened Mm -hmm. about this. Um I was I was I was gearing the video towards Tommy Sotomayor and Tariq Nasheed and Boyce Watkins at the time because they were feuding and I was thinking I was getting sick and tired of the feud that we were experiencing I understand the game now I didn't understand the game then I understand the game now so I know why they were feuding I get it now Um, but back then all I saw was three men acting like girls that's all I saw so um now that I understand the game, I'm not even going to even confront them. I'm not even bringing it to their attention because that's what it is. It is what it is. I had a problem with it then. I didn't believe that this man should have gone to jail. I didn't believe that this man should have been dealing with what he was dealing with. And we can talk all we want about what we think was going on with him buying a, na- a, a network and the powers that be, whoever the hell the powers are, because we don't know who they really are, whomever is controlling this daggone thing. Yeah, we can talk that all, but we don't know. At the end of the day, this is a case by case basis. Mm-hmm. And in my opinion, 
this was corrected. Mm. What do you think? You get the last words this time. No, I don't want the last words. Get the last words. Okay. No, I just think that everything happens for a reason. And what was done was done. All right, guys. This is Gary Lamb and Latoya Lamb. Bye, guys. Signing off. You guys have a good one.